California is unveiling big plans this morning for a more than $30 million overpass across one of L.A. County's busiest freeways. The bridge is designed for wild animals whose habitats are shrinking because of urban sprawl. Washington State broke ground on its first wildlife crossing in June. Ben Tracy shows us how the largest animal bridge in America could help save one of the last big carnivores in the western U.S. He is the most famous mountain lion in the world, ready for his close-up in this now iconic National Geographic photo. His name is P-22, and he lives in the shadow of the Hollywood sign in Los Angeles' Griffith Park. If he's anywhere in the area, hopefully I'll get a ping on my receiver. Biologist Jeff Sikich works for the National Park Service. He uses this radio antenna to track P-22. I think he's probably below us right here. Three years ago, Sikich attached a radio collar to his neck. That was shortly after remote cameras discovered the big cat inside the park, a place visited by 10 million people each year. We're in the middle of Los Angeles. The Hollywood sign is here. Downtown is there. How extraordinary is it that a mountain lion is roaming around here? It's a testament to the health of the ecosystem here, but he ended up in this dead-end park. It's not ideal. To get there, P-22 had to navigate a maze of L.A. freeways. He was born in the Santa Monica Mountains and somehow crossed the busy 405, made his way through the Hollywood Hills, and then crossed the 101 before taking refuge inside the park. Would you want to cross the 101 on foot? I wouldn't. Beth Pratt of the National Wildlife Federation says P-22 got lucky. Just this month, another mountain lion, P-32, became at least the 12th lion killed trying to cross the freeway. They get to freeways and more often than not, the car wins. 15 other mountain lions are now being tracked in the Los Angeles area, many first tagged as kittens. Adult males can roam 250 square miles to mate, but are now caged in by freeways. Inbreeding out of necessity has damaged the gene pool. P-22 has just eight square miles to call his own and no one to mate with. These freeways are acting as barriers for animals who need to travel. And uh, so we need to help wildlife somehow maneuver them if they're going to have a future anywhere. Today, the California Department of Transportation released these renderings of a proposed crossing over the 101 freeway. Conservation groups are working to raise $10 million to get the project started. So far, no taxpayer dollars are involved. It would come through sweeping across the freeway and... And they'd be able to come right up here. They'd be able to come right up here, yep. The crossing would allow all sorts of wild animals in the urban jungle to once again roam the entire Santa Monica Mountain ecosystem. Is there some sense that we kind of owe this to these animals? I mean, we created this. I think we owe it to them to give them back their wild spaces. We've taken so much of their habitat. Do you think this is going to be a tough sell, or do you think you'll be able to get this done? There has been an outpouring so of support for this campaign that in my 25 years in conservation, I've never seen. P-22 is now the 120-pound poster boy for the movement to get the overpass built. And he recently made more headlines after strolling into a Griffith Park neighborhood. There he is. He hid underneath a house and then yeah. disappeared once everyone left him alone. It was a reminder that P-22 has few places to go unless we bridge the gap for him. P-22's story has sort of captured the imagination of the world, so I know we're going to get this done. For CBS This Morning, Ben Tracy, Los Angeles. Well, Wish it all... didn't cost so much money. I know, but he's all alone. He has nobody to mate with. I was thinking about that. <laughs> and I was also thinking about the name P-22. Who's in charge of the names? <laughs> Otis, you Charlie, You think he knows William. all this commotion is being There's made so about so many it? names for him.